If you think about it, we get to live in one of the culinary capitals of the world. Food that's incredibly diverse with fascinating histories behind them. CBS 2's Dave Carlin takes us to a place celebrating the past, present, and future of what New Yorkers love to eat. Food in New York bigger than the plate invites people to take a bite of the Big Apple. Self-described foodie, Penelope Wiley is here with her mother, Judith Favor, learning how long before the pizza slice, the bacon, egg, and cheese, and the hot dog, New Yorkers could not get enough of the oyster. Historically, the city's top treat because oysters were once plentiful. This is a beautiful way to display oysters, but I don't think they'd hit the plate. They're going straight in my mouth. We literally loved oysters to death, explains the historian who helped curate this exhibit at the Museum of the City of New York, Moncho Lopez. By the late 1800s, we had overfished them. We polluted the water. This diorama illustrates a city food market that ran from 1699 until the 1800s. We learned from the get-go until now. Meat is what dominates the typical New Yorker's diet. The meat-free options on display were more to Favor's liking. And I like the arrangement of beans. I'm a vegan, so I eat a lot of beans. This mother and daughter said they were most impressed by the centerpiece of the exhibit called Biosphere, illustrating a structural ecosystem, allowing us to grow native plants in salt water. It opens up a lot of possibilities as far as crops. And behind me, a very special collection of photographs celebrating nourishers. This area of the show is a thank you to food service workers in our neighborhoods, including the chefs who nourish us. Room for dessert? How about piraguas? Shaved ice delivered in style. And delicious and refreshing on a hot day. I'm hungry. I'm totally hungry. We just finished up lunch. They made a beeline from the exhibit to this restaurant table. Food history in their brains and food the real thing now in their bellies. On the Upper East Side, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.